Hey, I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. Hi, and I'm Nicholas Galatine. And we are in London on the set of Red, White, and Royal Blue. Red, White, and Royal Blue gets even better behind the scenes as the chemistry between the cast goes beyond what we've seen. People rarely see a royal but fun gay relationship in films, but this new movie did it thanks to some of the great preparations behind the scenes. Soon as the film starts, the first thing you will notice about Prince Henry and Alex is that they always argue about who's taller than the other, and the sweet thing is the cast, Nicholas Galitzine, who plays Henry, and Taylor Zakhar Perez, who portrays Alex, argue about the same thing when they aren't acting. You're not taller than you, right? Your dream is bad. Three inches, max six five. Are we really doing this right now? Yeah. Does someone have a measuring tank with you? But this was finally settled behind the scenes, and someone was unhappy with the result. I am oh, no stretching. I just have great posture. I six two. I'm gonna say <laughs> slight advantage. Taylor. This is bullshit. I'm gonna put this this is Bullsh Many fans initially doubted that Nick and Taylor would make the perfect cast for the film when it was announced, but they have both proven that they aren't only suitable for the film, but also enjoy working with each other, which has helped their on-screen chemistry. It's been such a joy working with Taylor, and I really couldn't imagine anyone better suited to play Alex. And Nick confirms that their chemistry is due to how they easily banter with each other in exciting ways that always prepare them for action whenever they shoot on set. The actor also mentioned that the filming process was enjoyable because Alex made it as good as he did and he wouldn't want anything different. Also, Taylor has a lot of good things to say about Nick and reveals the big secret behind how they became so close very quickly before filming started. You know, we got here a couple weeks early for rehearsals and it's a very intimate movie, so we had to become close very fast. Aside from being such great lovers on screen, they were also good friends behind the scenes. And they constantly criticized each other at work, which also helped them give a brilliant and believable performance. One essential thing needed to successfully film a romantic movie depends on the cast's trusting of one another. And Nick and Taylor trusted each other enough to let their guards down and be very playful on set, which helped on screen. One of the show's most iconic scenes is the cake scene, which defines the beginning of the romance between Henry and Alex. Nick mentioned that the cake scene was enjoyable, but took a few days to get the perfect shot. And the good thing about this scene is that it doesn't just involve Henry and Alex alone, but the entire high class of British society. However, they had about 200 extras on set for this particular scene aside from the main ones, and spending time with the other actors was a delightful experience for Nick. If you are wondering if the cake was real and if it really fell on Nick and Taylor, then you should know that it really happened the same way behind the scenes, and Nick described it as an unusual day at work. For the polo scene, Nick learned to ride horses and play the game like an expert would, and he enjoyed all of it. Taylor got to play the perfect political son of the President of the United States, and that's because he prepared so hard for it. And the cool thing about his character, Alex, is that he doesn't just know politics, but he's also an amusing and hilarious person, which is why he's very likable. For Taylor to understand this character and be able to play it, he had to watch The West Wing a lot, an old movie about politics in the White House. But he didn't stop there as he saw many other old movies on politics. So don't be surprised about his confidence in politics because he was prepared for it. Taylor also watched many old comedies, making his character effortlessly funny in the movie. In one of the scenes, Alex got to have the turkey that needed to be pardoned by the president in his room. And he had a short, goofy moment with the turkey. Interestingly, Taylor is just as obsessed with turkeys in real life as got to have further crazy moments with the animals behind the scenes. Two turkeys walking toward me. I'm gonna scare the shit out of them. Before any casting effort was made for Henry, the director, Matthew Lopez, already wanted Nick as Henry, so he just called Nick and he answered. After that, the search for Alex began, and it took a long time for Taylor to be found for the role. The director said that what drew him to pick Taylor was that he had a bit of the old Hollywood in him. The steamy scenes in red, white, and royal blue got a lot of hearts racing. However, making those scenes, especially the one where they had the bed scene, was a crazy one to film. An important thing you should know about the spicy scene 
seen is that they provided a coordinator to ensure they got it right and make the cast feel comfortable. The coordinator of the spicy act, Robbie Taylor Hunt, explained how they arranged the spicy scenes, saying, there's a playful teasing that never veered into anything nasty, which was a lovely dynamic to be a part of, but also they just treated each other like colleagues and co-creatives in a really nice, collaborative way. In planning how to film the scenes, the director also took advice and opinions from Taylor, Nick, and Robbie. So the four of them agreed on the outcome of the spicy act before they started. Taylor, who plays Alex, takes it further to explain how he and Nick acted around each other during the filming of the spicy moments. He explained that they did a lot of choreography to get every one of their movements and facial expressions right. And soon after they film a scene, they usually tease each other as one could shout at the other to get off. Nick also revealed that making the steamy part of the film was very crazy, but also worth it. Aside from the main actors, Taylor and Nick, who supported each other during filming, the gesture also extends to the other cast members, especially Uma Thurman, who plays Taylor's mom in the film. Alex and Ellen Claremont have a great mother-to-son relationship in the movie, and this is because Uma had a fantastic time bonding with Taylor behind the scenes. And I was pleasantly surprised that she came in and she was so lovely and giving and you know wants to connect right away and you know, like whether it was a, with, with a hug with just touching my hand talking briefly one of the great things about red white and royal blue is that it took viewers to the two most essential locations in the uk and the us buckingham palace and the white house and you will be surprised at how they filmed at these locations the elegance in the film is one of the things that makes it stand out and look powerful and because money isn't a problem for the characters the viewers got to enjoy constant switching and travel between washington dc london texas and paris but did the cast go through this much traveling in making the film? The truth is that most of the filming took place in England as they utilized many of the beautiful locations available. As you may have guessed, the White House in the movie wasn't an actual location as it was built and designed on a soundstage. Interestingly, they constructed the set to resemble the White House and did something new with the decorations to make it have a woman's touch in honor of the female president, Ellen. Another iconic location in the show is London's Victoria and Albert Museum, which Henry took Alex to one night, and in the room, they connected, danced, and admired the beautiful artworks around them. However, the filming of this scene took place in the exact location, Victoria and Albert Museum, and they were able to make the scene during the early hours before the museum opened for business. Nick, who grew up in London, was pleased to explore the museum in its quiet state. He said, it's five o'clock in the morning, you're trying to act and be emotional, and you're in this truly beautiful, picturesque setting. It was really cool to be able to explore it. The show's director, Matthew, feared they wouldn't let them film at the V and A Museum, as he said the management was very protective and didn't want them to break anything, but after a few back and forth, they got permission to shoot the scene there, but it wasn't a smooth experience. Matthew revealed they had a significant limitation because the gallery was dark and not photogenic, and to make it worse, they weren't allowed to bring in their lighting and only had to use the faint lighting at the V and A. However, they made it work and turned the scene into a dim but romantic moment that viewers can't help but love. Just as the cast gave so much energy to their characters during filming, they looked just as excited to wrap up the show. Hey, guess what? That's a wrap. That's a wrap! and you can still see and hear their characters in them even after they finished filming. What do you think of these behind the scenes and the efforts that went into the making of Red, White, and Royal Blue? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.